Morning, Andoni. Morning. Congratulations on the win. Um, it was a long time coming, but much needed. How much of a boost has that given around to the club, to the training ground, to the players, to the environment? Just that first win, just to give everyone a real lift. Obviously, something that we needed. At the end, uh, uh, you need to see results because I think the, the players were working really hard and I think it's it's good especially for them because I think they really deserve the win because I think they did they played well and uh, I think it's uh, the first one we hope we have more waiting but now we have uh, another week ahead different uh, opposition different competition and we have to get ready because uh, after the win we only had two three days and uh, football is like this and we have to get, get ready for, for tomorrow where we have a, a big chance. We have a big challenge, but also a big chance. Obviously, it's great to get that first win in the league in front of the owner who's over from America as well. Have you had the opportunity to sit down and speak to him since the game? No, I think we talked after the game a little bit about the game, about uh, things that happened on the beach. But I think uh, it's good that he was here with us. He talked to the players. I think... Uh, uh, he was obviously happy, like all uh, were after the after the game. But we know that it's just one win, and we need we need to keep pushing. Have you had the opportunity to speak to him since then? Have you have you sort of sought the the opportunity to, no, to talk no, to him? Did no, he reassure we, you about the situation? I know things haven't been great, but sometimes owners can say, "Look, we're behind you. We support you. We know you're doing good work." No, we've been talking all the way that he has been here. Uh, we talked after the game about the game, about how the match went, and uh, he's 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 back there in in America now, and and he will come back whenever he he wants. In terms of team news ahead of the Liverpool match, have you got anyone coming back? Are there any issues with anyone from the the weekend? No, no injury wise situation hasn't changed. I think we have some. Uh, Luis Cook suspended, Luis Inisterra, Mark Travers, I think, up tight. And uh, the other injuries are the same we had past past week. So you lose some players, players not available. Does it make it more difficult for you to select a squad? Or are there players that you, you have in your own mind who you think this is the right game for them now? I think it's always difficult. I think we have uh, enough players, It's uh, especially in some some positions there is a strong competition. We have to see uh, how they recover from the game. I think they all trained yesterday. Some of them were more tired than others. But uh, no one uh, ended injured the other day. I think everyone is available and we have to take the best decisions uh, uh, to 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 go with the best best team we think is is is, is better for, for this game. You've played Liverpool once already this season in the league. What what have you learned from that game that you can perhaps take into the cup match? I think uh, we had very good spells in that game. I think uh, we started very well. I remember very good 20, 25 minutes. And also at the end, obviously, they were with 10 and we pushed and we continued. But there was their moment, of especially uh, the second part of the first half, let's say, where where they have these moments where they push a lot, they press you, they put a lot of pressure on you, and they uh, and, and 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 we suffered. This I remember 10, 15 minutes that we were suffering when they scored the 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 penalty, and uh, it will be a spells like this against these kind of teams. I think they are doing really really well. They found. Only lost, I think, the game where they were with nine players, and they didn't even, and they lost it at the end with an own goal. And it's like, okay, you have to win a team that they, they are doing really, really well, and uh, we have to play a really special game, a really special game. We know this, but we have to maximize our chances, and this, uh, uh, we can only do this if we play at hundred percent. In terms of. Your stance on the cup competition, you've said before that this is an opportunity to create special memories. Cup runs is not something that, that happens 
very often in players' careers and for you, you always look back on those moments and, and cherish them. Is that the message once again for your Bournemouth team that this is Liverpool but actually there's an opportunity to create our own piece of history here? I think it's, uh, we have to say it this way because it's, it's the truth. It's, uh, if you win against Liverpool tomorrow, you have the chance to play quarterfinals of a, of a cup. I think it's something that you will remember for sure. Uh, it's not easy to, to, to do it, no? I think it, we know that it's very difficult. We know that we have to play at our best level, but it's a chance we have to, to, to create something special in, in, in this competition, yes. And finally for me, do you believe that that win at the weekend is, is the corner turned for this group? Do you believe now that the, the kind of the pressures of not winning in the league has now disappeared and that you can use this as a, another stepping stone? Uh, we don't know. We don't know. I think uh, we have to take every game. We have three days, or we've had three days to prepare for Liverpool. We'll have just another two to prepare for City, then a week to prepare for Newcastle. We have to take game by game. We have to keep improving the team. Keep. I think we can use the game uh, because we we did very good things in in, in both phases, and uh, I think we can use it as a reference. But we know also that the games we have now, this this couple of weeks, uh, will be completely different. Thank you. Thank you. More morning, Tony. J just talking about cup memories. Just tell us what's your best memory as a player of playing in a cup game? Uh, probably the, the, the I've lost, I lost finals. I lost quite a lot of finals. Uh, I've played some cup finals, but probably the best memories when, when you arrived there. You know, uh, especially the first when we arrived after a lot of years when we were in Athletic. I think when when you win the semi-final and you have the chance to to live and to have a a, a special day, you know, cup finals are always special days and probably there. Uh, and luckily, I cannot say we won a, a cup final. I've lost. <laughs> Uh, some finals, some semi-finals, also as a coach. But there are moments that you always remember. You always remember. And uh, we haven't been lucky in the draw. We know we have Liverpool, but at least we play at home. And we'll have hours behind, and I think it's uh, it's an advantage that we have to use tomorrow. Winning a cup final, you won a cup final as a manager. I know you did in Cyprus. Just yeah. if I asked you for your favourite memory of as a manager, would, that, would it be that one? Yeah, probably. At least it's, uh, it's Cyprus, but it's it's a title. It's my first title, the only one I have as a, as a manager. So I think we have to to always value it. But um, I think every time you have the chance, you have to try your best. Uh, in the cup, you play bad five, ten minutes and you are out of the competition. And uh, we have to try to keep our focus 100 minutes to put some pressure on them because for sure they are the favourites, but it's just one game. Uh, the way you play this game sometimes is different because whenever you score or they score, one of the two teams is out of the competition, they can take more risk. Uh, and uh, obviously we would like to score first and put some pressure on them, but we have to earn this. With three games in eight days, which is what it's going to be, you have rotated the team for the first two games in the League Cup. Is that slightly becoming a little bit more difficult now? Because like you said, you've got two players cup tied, one suspended. Oh, we have to make the, the right decisions. It's not always easy. Some players uh, will will repeat and will play from the from the other day. Some players for sure I think we will we will change. You never know what's the perfect amount. I think we have to go to individual situations, how they have recovered. Uh, how they fit our game plan uh, and uh, we'll see tomorrow if, if we take the, the right decisions.